Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the all new V402 microphone preamp from Neumann. If there was a Mount Rushmore or a greatest hits album in the audio world, Neumann would certainly be on that mountain or that soundtrack. Weird analogy, I know. However, Neumann is a legendary brand making legendary products for decades. And they have recently gotten back into the preamp game with the V402 two-channel transformerless microphone preamp, which is pretty cool for a few reasons. Now, this is not the first microphone preamp that Neumann has ever made. However, it's the first one they have made in several decades, I think since the mid 80s or so with the 476B microphone preamp, which is a legendary preamp in and of itself. But since then, they haven't really uh, dipped their toes into the preamp pool, so to speak. However, they have gathered all of their vast amounts of knowledge that they have learned in the last 30 to 40 years, and they have put it all into the V402 two-channel microphone preamp. Now the V402, like I mentioned before, is a transformerless design and also has some features like an instrument DI input, a high pass filter, a 20 dB pad, and a dedicated headphone amplifier, and also has 60 dB of gain. That's a lot of gain. Now, as I am filming this, I have not actually heard the V402 in action yet. And I thought we could do that together with three different AB comparisons. And I'm going to be using my Universal Audio Apollo 8 as a control, stock preamp, whatever preamps are in it. I will not be using the Unison feature to model like a Neve or something like that. I'm going to be going straight into the Universal Audio Apollo 8 interface, and then we're going to be A and B -ing, um, from the V402. So we're going to do, let's see, I think we're gonna do a voice test. We're going to do a bass DI test. And finally, I think we're gonna go ahead and do an acoustic guitar test. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this in my desk. Okay, so the V402 is successfully installed into my desk. It's patched in. And I just wanna note really, really quickly that you can download the audio files that you will be hearing in this video down in the description because for things like comparing a bass guitar DI, the differences after being uploaded to YouTube are probably gonna be destroyed. I mean, real talk, uh, you know, YouTube compresses the audio and just destroys it. So if you're listening on your phone and you say you don't hear a difference, well, there's multitude of reasons why you don't hear a difference in that scenario, but I encourage you to listen on good headphones and to download the files down in the description for all of the comparisons that you will be hearing right now. So let's get to some comparisons. This is a vocal test using a matched pair of Rode NT5 uh, condenser mics. And one is going into the Universal Audio Apollo and the other is going into the Neumann V402. And I will be switching between them throughout this conversation that I am having with myself. I am also using a pop filter so you don't get any of the plosives. And they, my, the, both microphones are about... Uh, six to eight inches away from my mouth and they are lined up perfectly and I spent a lot of time lining them up even though this angle looks like makes it look like it's possibly not uh, totally lined up but it is I promise you and hopefully by now between switching back and forth you uh, get some kind of an idea of how the Neumann V402 preamp sounds let's go on to the next test <laughs>
So what are my thoughts for the Neumann V402? Well, I will note that, you know, in the literature that came with the preamp and on the website and all the information that I could find online, uh, Neumann really intended this to be a very, very clean and linear yet rich sounding preamp. It's not supposed to be uh, super colored like, you know, a classic like Neve 1073 or an SSL or something like that. It is not meant to add any color to whatever you're plugging in. It's simply meant to bring out the best of whatever you are plugging into it. Be that a bass guitar or a condenser mic or whatever. And I think they've done that. It sounds very, very, very clean to me, but it also has a nice silkiness to it. And also the low end is very, very nice and tight and kind of, I don't know, it just sounds like, a, it sounds like a high definition preamp or something like that. I don't know, that's the best way I can kind of articulate what I hear um, here in the studio. Um, I know, again, YouTube is gonna crush the audio. So again, please download the raw files in the description of this video. And with that, you have been wonderful, I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff, there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things, so consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.